Okay, so in this video I'm going to basically go over the theory of calculating the limit of a Riemann sum, give an idea of what we're going to be doing and why it works. So basically, if here's our uh, arbitrary function f of x, so y equals f of x, and we want to find the area under this curve. One way of one way of doing this would be to divide it into a series of rectangles. So I could go like that, 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 and just make a bunch of rectangles and find the area of each rectangle. Now, of course, we have a little bit of error especially on these like steeper slopes. Like that. Actually, this one goes like that. Like so. And find the area of all these rectangles and sum them up. And that would be area of R1 plus area of R2 plus area of R3, all the way out to area of Rn. And that would be total area. <clears throat> now, recall from the sigma notation video that when you have something like this, you could basically write down um, sigma sum of k equals 1 to n of area sub k, like that, or to keep in consistency, area of rectangle k. And that would do rectangle 1, rectangle 2, rectangle 3. And what we need to basically do is to achieve the actual area is make the width of these rectangles as small as possible. So if the width wasn't that wide, but rather something like this, for all of them, I won't do it for time constraints, we'd have a much better approximation. If it was actually so close that there was an infinite number of rectangles that you used, well, you'd have um, the exact area. So this brings us to the idea of the Riemann sum. So what is the width of a segment? Well, the width of a segment, we'll call that delta x, because it's on the x-axis. And all these are going to be the same width. And that would be b minus a over n. So n is the number of rectangles. So you can see b minus a over n. They're all the same size. And so now we know the base. To calculate area, we need to know a height. So we have f of x gives you the height of the function, but we need to pick a point here. We'll call this x sub k superstar, where x sub k superstar is in this range. Like, we'll pick any arbitrary rectangle in rectangle k. x sub k superstar is a point within this rectangle along the x-axis, so some point along here. Um, is point in partition. We call each of these rectangles a partition. Partition, whatever. Yeah. So, now we have this. So, we can say the sum k is equal to 1 to n of f of x sub k superstar delta x. Now, we want an infinite number of rectangles. Well, how do we do that? Well, this in here is the number of rectangles. This in here is the number of rectangles. So we think back to calculus 1 with our limits, and we have a limit as n goes to infinity. So limit as n goes to infinity 
like so. And this is the general form of a Riemann sum. And this is equal to, to shorthand that, the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx. And we'll eventually find out how to find the definite integral without using a Riemann sum, but that's outside the scope of this video. Now, one critical topic is picking the value of x sub k superstar because you want to pick it such that you can find it based off of a function of k because we're iterating through. So we can have this be equal to the starting value plus the rectangle number we're on times the width of each rectangle. And this produces the right-hand endpoint. So for an example up here, that would be a is the starting value, we'll say 0 plus k, rectangle number 1, we'll say rectangle 1, times delta x. So 1 delta x over, now 2 delta x is over, 3, 4, 5, 6, like so. And that's how you pick your x of k superstar value. So when you'd actually put this all in, you'd have limit, this n approaches infinity, of, now, of course, your test or your teacher may say use a different value in the partition, but uh, it's easiest if you get to pick your value to use the right-hand endpoint. Sum k equals 1 to n of f of a plus k. What's delta x again? Delta x is b minus a over n. b minus a over n. And that would be basically what you're going to be doing a Riemann sum off of, if you're using the right-hand endpoint. And we'll actually do some problems in the next video.